friends and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a maple vanilla latte at home. Um, there's going to be three different versions. So we're going to have a frappuccino, a cold foam, cold brew, and then an actual latte. So there's options for people who don't have an espresso machine, but there's also options for people who do have an espresso machine. So it's a party for everyone. So we're gonna start off with the frappuccino. Um, I'm gonna be using my Ninja blender and I just took this small blender cup and filled it completely up with ice. Um, the next step is to fill it about halfway up with the whole milk. Well, okay, that's more like three quarters of the way, but that works too. Um, that's actually what I was going for more so, so fill it up with the whole milk. If you want it to be extra rich, you can do like half whole milk and half half and half, or do the whole thing with half and half, but I don't want it to be that rich, so we're just going to go with this. So our next step is to add one tablespoon of maple syrup. I just have this organic maple syrup, but whatever works, as long as it's real maple. The Pancake syrup doesn't work. It just doesn't have that maple-y taste. It just tastes like sugar. I'm sure the latte would still taste good, but it's not gonna be a maple latte. So we're just gonna put one tablespoon of maple syrup into that blender. And then we're going to put half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then we'll just put a sprinkle of cinnamon. So now that our milk mixture is almost ready, we're gonna pull our espresso shots. Another option if you're doing this at home and you don't have an espresso machine, you can do this half milk and half cold brew and you'll get basically the same taste, but we're gonna do mine with espresso. I'm just gonna pull a double shot. I'm using this just Cafe Bustello uh, vacuum packed pre ground espresso beans. Um, it's not the ideal espresso. It tastes good and it brews out of this machine really well since I don't have an, an industrial um, grinder. So. This works really well and it's really convenient and I'd recommend for anyone who's having trouble uh, grinding their own beans by hand because while I do do that sometimes, it just, it's not as nice. So I'm just gonna put about one and a half scoops into my porta filter. And then I just tap it out to get a flat surface. And then tamp it. And we're just gonna pull that double shot into a mug. This espresso, um, the Cafe Bustello, does a really good job of always pulling in that perfect espresso range, and it gets a really nice crema. I don't know if you can see that, but really good crema. And so we're just gonna put that on top of our ice milk mixture. And if you wanted an iced latte version of this, it's essentially this. I would just do a little bit less milk and probably could. So I'm gonna screw that lid on. Oh no. Since that's spilled a little bit, we're just gonna wipe up the sides and it's fine. Okay now I just we want to make sure that this is on really tight so it doesn't start spilling more. And we're just gonna flip it and blend. Thank you. 
So now I'm just gonna transfer this into this glass cup. Okay, so now that this is transferred, I'm gonna top it off with some homemade whipped cream. A maple syrup drizzle. drizzle of my life but I'm scared it's gonna overflow so it's okay just a little a little drizzle and then a sprinkle of cinnamon and there we have our maple vanilla cinnamon frappuccino now for the taste test so good it's like the perfect amount of sweet and cinnamon yum that is amazing but we still have two more amazing options so I'm gonna go pass this one over to my sister and we'll get started on the next drink okay so our next version is the cold foam cold brew so I just have this glass jar, a mason jar will work. This is from like some leftover spaghetti sauce and we, you know, wash it out and I just have this jar. So I'm gonna put about an inch of milk in here. You don't need too much. So about that much milk. And then I'm gonna put another tablespoon of maple syrup in there. Teaspoon of vanilla. And a sprinkle of cinnamon. <laughs> okay, so now that we have everything in our jar, we're just gonna shake it for as long as it takes, probably about five to 10 minutes, you're just gonna shake this bad boy. It'll be a fun time. Okay, so now that our milk is all shaken up, we're gonna just set it down for a second. I'm gonna fill this about halfway with cold brew. And then I'm just gonna top it off with this foam. And there we have a maple cinnamon vanilla cold foam cold brew. This one is also super good. Yay. <laughs> Now for our final drink, we're gonna be making a hot latte. I'm gonna start off the latte this with the espresso. So just putting about one and a half scoops, and these are seven gram scoops. Um, once again, just knocking that to the side, making a nice flat surface. of the way because I know how much it's going to expand um, and I want my mug to be all the way full. <laughs> so now that our espresso is done pulling, we're going to put that same ratio that we've been putting of the maple syrup, vanilla, and cinnamon right into the espresso. 
Before I add the sprinkle of cinnamon though, I'm going to mix in the vanilla and maple syrup with a spoon because I don't want to disrupt the crema that much and this is going to really disrupt the crema if I put it in there and then stir. So I'm just going to ensure that there's a pretty even layer of cinnamon across the top. You can also opt to steam your cinnamon into your milk so it's a little bit less chunky, I guess, on top. Because I know some people don't like that. So I'm just turning on my milk wand. With this guy, you have to let it get ready first by turning it on and letting it do its thing until this turns white. So we're just gonna wait a second. Okay, perfect. Now steam is coming out so you can see my milk. So now we just have to pour our latte. And I have like the saddest, tiniest little fern on top, but that's okay. <laughs> It's also very good. I don't really like whole milk. A lot of days I normally go for oat milk, but that's pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned how to make some drinks for your home situation, whatever that may be. I'm going to upload a tutorial on how to make cold brew if you guys don't know how to do that sometime this week. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, hope you have a nice day. Bye. Cinnamon. Oh, wrong side.